It is no secret that when it comes to crop production in the eastern two-thirds of Nebraska, corn and soybeans reign supreme. However, one crop has been slowly gaining some traction in the state. It is hemp. Last month, our team was, no, no, it was in Omaha at the Triumph of Ag Expo and we had the opportunity to catch up with a representative from the Nebraska-based hemp consultants. The advisors at Hemp Consultants are also active cultivators who believe in this particular product and have a firm understanding of the governing regulations surrounding hemp business operations. As hemp has had a few years on the market now, we asked hemp grower and hemp consultant Colin Fury for his take on the current conditions of the hemp market in the Midwest and how Nebraska compares with some of its neighboring states. Different um, hemp commodities, different prices right now, in um, Winfred, South Dakota, they are by the ton buying the hemp stem for fiber and herd um, for $200 a ton. Most producers will get about four to six tons an acre. Um, and that's when you're growing primarily for male hemp plants. I think the last in the Midwest, we've seen great growth in South Dakota in their fiber and grain and medical markets. Um, in Nebraska, we don't have any fiber processors or businesses set up, so that's been slow. In the CBD market, you see farmers gaining their comparative advantage, but fewer farmers in the game. At the same time, CBD demand's been going up. It was over $5 billion in sales in the United States last year, and that um, just keeps increasing. The price of CBD flour, according to Hemp Benchmarks last October, was $280 on average a pound, where um, this January it shot up to over 500. So um, there's fewer farmers growing, um, and right now they're, we're pushing in the legislature to extend the 15-day harvest after testing. A lot of states, like South Dakota, give you 30 to 45 days That'll go a long way in um, allowing Nebraska farmers a more even playing field when competing against farmers in these other states and in the European Union. Beyond harvesting hemp for fiber, many producers will grow the hemp for plants flour in order to make the other value added products such as edibles, topical creams and even CBD infused drinks. When it comes to hemp production, there are a lot of acronyms to keep straight from THC to CBD, CBDV, and so on. Colin gave us a breakdown on how some of these commodities are used. Really, we've seen a lot of growth in growing for CBDV lately. Um, THC is famous for making people high and hungry, where CBDV, it does the opposite. There is no high and it mitigates hunger. Um, CBG is really getting popular for cosmetic purposes and we're hoping in the new farm bill that they uh, make it easier and, and, and put regulation in place for greater cosmetics because CBG is known to rejuvenate skin cells as well as give um, the same kind of anti-inflammatory relief that CBD does. Um, CBN kind of acts like melatonin. It's good for helping people sleep. We've got CBN sleep patches. Delta-8, of course, is a kind of a twin of CBD molecularly. They're only one point different, but um, Delta-8 has got a little bit of a high feeling to it. Heck, while some of it is naturally occurring in the plant, like um, there's a variety of hemp called Pine Walker that has naturally occurring Delta-8, most of it is synthesized from CBD. Now, one thing to note, to legally grow hemp in Nebraska, you must first receive a license from the Nebraska Department of Agriculture. If you'd like to learn more about hemp consultants and the way they can help you get the ball rolling on becoming a hemp producer, you can visit them online. Their website is hempconsultants.com.